Would you say this is the best sounding V6 you have ever heard? Uh, by far. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take my beautiful Ford Heritage Edition out to break in the engine. I think it's at uh, 99 miles on it. We got another 500 miles to go and uh, we may be able to put another 20, 30 miles today. But hey, a man's gotta eat. Might as well take this out, put some miles on it and have some fun. And I got the right mask today to do it all in. So let's do it. The 4 GT don't move, but guess what? The pedals do. Boom, here we go. Just don't do it when it's in drive. <laughs> <laughs> Let's warm up those tires. Whoa, did I do that? Man, this car sounds awesome. The only thing I wish I had a sunroof or a sky view like the Chiron. Mm. It's a little dark in here, it would be cool. Wow. Now remember guys, we can't push it too hard because we only have 99 miles on the car. And I gotta stop this oh, windshield. Um, oh, this one. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh -huh. This thing has so many buttons. <laughs> All right, we don't want to definitely push this off. That's your traction control. But um, back to the modes. So V mode, which is max mode. You gotta be in the park. Let's see what happens. Ooh, the car's lowering. Holy! That's more downforce, guys. All right, do I push okay? Okay. There we go. Go for it. Sweat. I like how they went super analog. Look at your AC. Just a couple of knobs here. Pretty, pretty simple. And on the driving mode, park, reverse, it's just a turn knob. And you know what? I've never used the manual. What do you think? V mode, manual? Hmm, sounds like recipe for disaster. Very nice. <laughs> it's crazy to think this is a V6 and it sounds like this. Dude, this sounds amazing. I mean, Ford, I, I don't think there is much I can say Ford could improve on a Ford GT. Feels great, handling, sound, power, design, would, honestly. Would you say this is the best sounding V6 you have ever heard? I, by far. Yeah? By far. <laughs> Where are we going? 
Be Stango. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. What I mean, you haven't even gone in a while, huh? Uh, I haven't been here in a while, but you know, um, they have a VIP parking, so <laughs> when I take my special cars, I gotta go to Be Stango. Now, I've been at, been trying to ask you, when did that start? When did they start parking your cars in the front, and what car? What was oh. the first car you brought? go back in the memory lane I've been coming here almost 30 years uh, but for the past 15 years I would say they've recognized me <laughs> so they always move the car and I got the first spot right there by the curbside and first car I took over here was probably my 80 Ferrari 360 Spider mm, Ferrari 360 Spider yeah 2002 uh, I want to say any more Ferraris in the pipeline of course I got an SF90 coming up I'm super excited Estradali and I'm thinking about maybe switching it to a Spider, but what do you guys think? The Spider SF90 or the SF90 Estradali? Comment below, let me know. <laughs> what color are you thinking? Oh, you gotta go red. Uh, if I don't go red, definitely white. I think white with red um, accents mm -hmm. and exposed carbon, like the 4GT, the Heritage Edition. I think it really pops. Oh man just want to cause trouble with this car. <laughs> Funny fact, unlike other cars that tell you the wing always should be down, on a Ford GT, they recommend the wing to always be raised. All right, just had a steak sandwich and some fries with Nate, and now we're headed back to the garage. Woo, guess what, we gotta warm up those tires again. I think we talked about this before, but the, the seats feel amazing. Oh yeah, the seats are like your grandmother's couch. <laughs> so I've seen that green has been a trend. Green and like leather has been a trend between cars. Do you yeah. like that look? Mm, not so much. You mean that's green like a puke? A <laughs> puke? <laughs> <laughs> or like a forest green. <laughs> oh, forest green maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I like the British racing green, mm. you know, like you see on the McLaren and the Aston. Yeah. That I do like. It goes down. This thing's so fast. This is the fastest lift in the world. We're back to V mode. Oh yeah. Wow. I think Layla's pills fell down. I know, there's hair time and pills in here. Interesting. <laughs> oh man! I feel like that sandwich is starting to come back up. <laughs> wow! Come on, that's gotta be one of the best sounding cars in my fleet. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? I agree, yeah. Oh my god. It's very different, but it sounds good. There's something about it. Just like that, we hit the speed limit. The crazy thing that Ford makes this car, and then also makes the Ford Mustang right next to you. Like, what other hypercar maker does that? Like, think of Pagani. They don't have like a no. road going car. No, Ford has everything from A to Z. Is there any other? Yeah, I mean Mercedes. Mercedes, yeah. yeah. Porsche, I don't know. Porsche doesn't have a cheap car. Uh, yeah, like a not really. super entry level. Right. You know, I think the least expensive Porsche is still gonna be a 60 grand. Yeah, like a boxer. Yeah. All right. Woo. I don't know, this wasn't a good idea. My Your sandwich. Stomach? Yeah, my sandwich is coming up. Ugh. This was great. Guys, what a treat. Thank you for letting me drive my cars and forcing me to drive them. Make sure you like and subscribe and like the video. Be safe, be well, see you guys next week. So I sold this for 40.7 million uh, two years ago. So I made about close to $12 million. Residential investors work longer hours for lower returns compared to commercial real estate investors. 
Contrarian Academy helps residential investors successfully acquire their first commercial property in six months or less. So there's a lot of pockets of opportunity where you can take great real estate that's located in a great location and repurpose it. While one state, for example, Houston, that's heavily invested in oil and gas industry is experiencing a recession, you may have another state like California experiencing the economic boom. You don't really have to wait for a global economic recession to jump out and invest your money and buy real estate. Apply now by clicking the link below.